Now to the pandemic and what may be a glimmer of hope in the Omicron surge tonight. The state reporting 86,000 new cases over five days, an average of more than 17,000 a day, still high, but well off the January 7th record of 20,000. The state also recorded 501 new deaths from COVID-19. 346 were identified in a review of vital records. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass picks up the story for us with what may be the start of a changing trend in the pandemic. Well, many health care facilities like this urgent care in Southfield are starting to see some numbers trend in the right direction, but the doctor here warns that it's still too early to celebrate. Since the week before Christmas, Express Med Urgent Care in Southfield was beyond busy, handling a huge increase in demand for COVID testing. But late last week, that all changed. Suddenly, out of nowhere, it just dropped off completely. Dr. Ron Coutu says for three weeks straight, they had been doing more than double their usual amount of COVID testing, with positivity rates of roughly 30%. He says they aren't the only ones seeing that dramatic rise now become a dramatic drop. And I checked around with my colleagues, and same thing, other urgent cares, other facilities, um, and I think the explanation is everyone just got sick. On top of testing sites, hospitals like Henry Ford are also reporting positive signs that the spread of Omicron is slowing down. I'm really happy to report that we are starting, and I emphasize starting, to see a trend that we hope will continue. COO Bob Riney says the health system now has less than 500 COVID patients as the number of new patients and case positivity rate continue going down. This is a very encouraging sign and certainly what we hope will be the beginning of a trend. In Macomb County, officials have another measurement, sewage. They've been monitoring the amount of COVID-19 in their wastewater throughout the pandemic. And since a dramatic spike on December 28th, they've also seen a dramatic drop. It looks like the numbers are falling off a cliff. It's a significant decline, which I will take as a very optimistic sign. All of these factors lead to the question of whether this peak is over. The State Hospital Association is optimistic, seeing statewide hospitalizations also decline since hitting record highs. Hopefully that trend will continue, and if it does, uh, that will mean that, yes, uh, we have hit our peak. But Dr. Katu still urges caution, fearful we could see another slight increase in a few weeks, especially if people let their guard down too early. We're all hopeful, but not, not let's just not get too crazy optimistic yet. Now, Express Med Urgent Care also offers monoclonal antibodies, which have been hard to find. If you're interested in scheduling an appointment, you can call 248-798-1399. In Southfield, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.